Hello, everybody. Welcome to Muckin' About. This is uh, episode 12 now. And as you can see, I am just Muckin' About. Uh, I'm actually running low on resources, uh, specifically redstone. And when I get back to the base, you'll see why. But I thought I'd start recording, because, you know, uh, I'm, I'm looting a whole bunch. <laughs> and it's it's always fun to just hear all the tinglings. Tingling, tingling of the resources that I'm picking up and such, and I, you know, just thought it'd be a good place to start. So I'm just hopping around, gathering up some of the stuff that I'd already let fall. I'm trying to remember from whence I came. Here we are. I was like, yeah, because I had all this coal and everything up here. But I'm specifically looking for um, redstone. Uh, but I'm taking just about anything. I have uh, two miner's packs on me, two canvas bags. I even have my apiary bag on me, but I don't have any bee scoops, which is a shame, because on one of these, one of these walls over here, I actually found a. Nice to you, you bastard. I found a uh, rock beehive, and living underground, those are of uh, particular interest to me, uh, as things would be right now. So, um, anywho, uh, just some updates. Uh, some of you have seen on the videos, I've got a new intro done. Um, well, not a new intro, I have a intro. Um, John Bun, a commenter on YouTube, actually just, I guess, liked the channel enough. He's the one who did the art that's on the background for the channel page, and he also came up with this uh, intro for me the other day. Is uh, We went back and forth a little bit on what it looked like, and uh, I, I think what it ended up being is pretty freaking awesome. He's already said he has um, another couple of things he'd want to try out, so I think you can expect to see a little bit more tweaks and changes and such. But um, so far, I am definitely happy with it. I, I will say that. It's fun. It's quick and short, you know? <laughs> so just exactly what you want in a little uh, intro video of me chasing a pig around. <laughs> so anywho, um, I'm not sure if I'll use it for like my Don't Starve videos, uh, but I... Oh, that's not a that's not a piece of loot. I'm like, wow, that's a really big piece of lapis. I think I'll pick it up, smack. Damn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like an idiot now. Ooh. Doing pretty good. Well, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. So, redstone areas first or unique gems. So I've been doing a bit of construction, which we will be getting to see uh, shortly. You'll see why I need all the redstone. Um, oops, that's just a Amazon email. Everybody likes Amazon, right? Um, I've started working on moving over the magmatic engines and stuff like that, getting the uh, the lava pool area. It came out really nicely. Um, I didn't record it because it was kind of just done in an offhand manner, a little bit here, a little bit there. So it wasn't really a gaming session for me. Uh, my folks are in town this week. Uh, the people that were saying happy birthday to me a couple of episodes ago. So I will... Uh, my playtime might be a little more sporadic this week, but I'm still going to try and maintain the episode a day sort of thing. Oops, oops, oops. Land, land. <laughs> Uh, actually, since I'm up here and kind of safe, good time to recharge yay old backpack. You know, I don't really have a bunch, a bunch of marble as of yet. Let's just... I have a jetpack, you stupid ghost, so you can't screw me up that much. Anywho, I don't have a ton of marble, so let me just grab that real quick. I'll also do a little bit of a inventive lighting here. Ooh, iron. I want to keep track of that as well. I'm always low on iron. <laughs> it's just the... Okay. Oh, let's find that bastard. <laughs> Stupid skeleton. He's gotta be in here somewhere. Mm 
Redstone. All right, screw that little guy down there. I refuse to not use my pick. Oh, you bastard. All the way up here, seriously? Ah. Anywho. Um Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm still going to try and get the uh the episode today. Uh that's usually what I try to adhere to. Sometimes I do two, sometimes uh, I do miss one. Like, I think I missed Thursday, but honestly, I was sitting there crossing my fingers hoping that I could get some uh, full-length episodes coming up. Which, yay! Uh, the timer ran out on the copyright dispute claim. Oh, uh, are my backpacks really... Holy cow. I want this guy dead. I don't know where he is. Is he in there with that bastard? No? But I know he's just going to come over here with a piece of TNT and blow the crap out of me right when I don't want him to. Alright. Back to picking up redstone. Because that is what we are here for. To get it all up here? Is it just working on the coal then? Oh, look at all that coal. Got some nice emeralds. Iron. Gold. It's also a good thing to have. Made quite a bit of electrum, although I do believe I recorded that. <laughs> and if I didn't, I snuck over to Sin's place again. And uh, just pulverized a whole bunch of the metals. Wow, it seems pretty slim pickings in here for uh, redstone. Usually it's all over the place. This is definitely a, a lapis area. Alright, got hover mode enabled. There we go. Hover mode disabled. So I don't have a silk touch yet. I am still waiting on that, and I really do want to enchant this drill because we figured out you could do that. Whoa, crap. There we go. Cool. <laughs> um, because that would just be awesome to have. And I am thinking of putting Silk Touch on here, although I know I should really do something like um, the high as a fortune as I can find. But Silk Touch would give me uh, some interesting benefits. Um, there is the Pulverizer which has a chance of just giving you some extra stuff. Yeah! <laughs> I was not expecting that to be the drop. Um, which does just give you some extra little doodads and stuff like that with a smaller chance, but more interestingly, there is a... Um, ah, the induction smelter, which I'd been using all that time to make my hardened glass. Uh, has like a 20% chance of giving you... Whoa! That's worked before, what the heck? Alright, 20% chance of giving you a rich slag, which is technically, every piece of rich slag you get can be turned into a piece of copper. And copper is very handy glowstone. Yeah. Uh, is copper, or did I say t copper? I am pretty sure I said copper. If I didn't, I really meant platinum, and I'm saying platinum now. Uh, platinum is a very handy material to grab because it can lead to iridium, or it's directly an iridium placement for some of the recipes and such. So, ah, uh, son of a... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure people saw that and kind of went, <laughs> I know what's going to happen. And you guys were right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, that unlocks some of the higher up there materials and crafting recipes and such. Um, specifically, uh, it's the Greg Tech stuff that I'm thinking of, is like the, um, the AES. Oh, I found you. I am now going to just smack you in the head from here. What do you think of that? That's what you get for being annoying. Oh, he didn't drop anything. Now he's really annoying. 
Do I got any more iron around? Yeah. Oh no, you know what? That actually made me think of an idea. I want to see... Ooh, redstone. Mmm, you're safe for now, you stupid, uh... Wraithy thing. Oh, figures. Uh, but the AES, I've always wanted that kind of being my central point for a, um, a EU system. And platinum would help me get that significantly easier. I just don't think I can get rid of all the iridium requirements, but hey, some is definitely better than none at all. Uh, do, 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 do. So, uh, anyways, the rich slag, when uh, used in smelting the pl or shiny dust or platinum dust, will give you three pieces of platinum instead of just the two. You can then take two of those pieces that you've just forged, grind them back down into powder, and use another piece of rich slag to repeat the process. So every single time you translate one piece of rich slag into a piece of into a piece of platinum, thus by making your platinum dreams come true. Well, maybe not, but it will certainly help uh, with resource management a hell of a lot easier. So let's. Uh, Okay, I think we got a, a pretty good uh, amount of resources here. My bags are fairly full. Do I see any low-hanging diamonds that I can just quickly snag? I mean, I'm here, I got my pick, I got a jetpack on. And what we do find is more redstone. I wonder why I haven't just been doing that this entire time. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. I don't know if anybody could pick that up on the video. We'll have to see when it's encoded. Ah, uh, Cinnabar. Useless. Oh, in the water they went, eh? You son of a... Yeah. And, of course, full... What can I drop? Those are easy enough to get rid of. Iron boots. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So still plenty of resources here. Um, I think it's stupid. No, it's not. I'm gonna say I think it's stupid to try and get more of this right now. But I did have that stack of just the two of them. I will get you, you wraith. Really? That's all I got? Twenty-one. So I'm just going to finish this up here. 50, 59, 64. It's at least two pieces. Er, you know, live router really don't use you, but I can just do this. <laughs> it really was just two pieces. Okay, so that's enough of the resource gathering. I made a new book, and it takes me here. So this place is fleshed out a little bit. Got uh, my row of chests over there. I got a whole slew of books here. You know, There's my desolate. There's going to be my wetlands. There's my meadows. This goes back to the overworld. New Dome is where I just came from, and the nether is the last place. Um, over here I just have a temporary furnace, an alley furnace. I've need, been needing some of those materials and such. Here is leftover hardened glass. I made a lot of it. Uh, <laughs> quite, quite a lot of it. But what we need this for, as you may or may not have guessed, is, let me check my backpack. Um, 
is filling up the energy cells is I want a wall of these things and by a wall I mean uh, six wide two tall so that has required a little bit of extra redstone for uh, filling these things up mm -mm -mm. go go gadget energy in my jetpack 24, 26, 29, done. Let's get over there. Okay, so now, where I decided to put them, I alluded to it a couple of times. I'm not sure if I was on camera just telling people, but here is my big old canal of lava, complete with entrance to a mine. So I made this uh, yesterday, I believe. This was like uh, the thing I was doing, and then when I finished, I was just kind of staring at it going, I'm tired. But it's an entrance way to a start of uh, some branch mining. Uh, I haven't found any lava spawning in this Miscraft world as of yet. And i got to be careful doing this, but I always do it anyway, so there we go. I'm not going to fly up the tunnel here. It's a little too risky. The lava is kind of low in some areas where it makes the transitions and such. But we'll see that it just goes around the corner here. So I've been doing a little bit. Got a river, got a waterfall, a little bit of landscaping there. But this is my canal of lava. This was all filled up with magma from the uh, magma crucible. And submerged in the lava down here, I have the six uh, magmatic engines. They are all pumping energy into this pipe. And that is where my wall is going to be. So you'll be able to see just a glowing wall of these redstone uh, cells, which I believe are going to be currently maxed out. How are we doing? Two. Only two? Oh, wait, that's right. I only put 40 in there because that was all I had. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, stool. Alright, let's get that going. So each one of these is equal to a full, you know, I might as well just cap it off. A full one of these tanks. And we'll just take these tanks back. Oops, didn't really mean to do that. And just working on the recipes here to get the uh, cells. So electrum, lead, you know, I'm pretty, as in 99% sure, that I actually turned all of my lead into uh, my glass right here. So I'm going to need a uh, redstone conductance coil. So some more electrum and two more redstone. Definitely got the redstone on hand. A little bit of leftover electrum here. If I'm making 12 of these... One, two, three, four. Let's uh, stack this up. I know I'm just undoing what I just did. Uh, Twelve. We'll need those. Let's take them. Gonna chuck that out there. Might need more electrum by the time this is all said and done. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's take a look for lead. We got this here. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I have a fairly significant amount of ore. I'm going to just do this guy. So two furnaces and then a little bit more cobblestone. So I'll need, what, 8, 16 plus 6, 24, 22. 22 pieces of this stuff. And I'm trying to keep my inventory minimal right now. So we got two of them. So this guy has a little neat added bonus of, first of all, being nearly useless. But nearly is uh, good enough in our case. I will just take a couple of pieces out of here. Stick a couple in that way. And we will smelt up some silver and get 
120% uh, of uh, of it in lead as well. So this is pretty still like a two for one deal as I'm still getting two ore, and it's actually um, a 220% is overall. I get one of these and a 120% chance for one of those. Uh, so this will give me a little bit more lead than I would otherwise get, or potentially, you know, roughly every um, fifth piece of silver ore should give me five pieces of silver and six pieces of lead. But for now, we will just get the four that we need to finish off the two, let the rest of these cook down, because I'm probably generating a whole bunch of MJ over there that I am not using up right now. So, onesie, these don't stack, there's twosie. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's put that up in there. Electrum up the top, lead will go back around the sides. Yep, see, four to six, so I actually have eight pieces of lead out of the, or no, yeah, out of the six that I had otherwise gotten. So it's a little bit ahead of the curve there, so that's kind of nice. Let me just do a little dashiness. Sweet. And I think this is going to end up looking pretty freaking cool with all of these things hooked up here. Glowing as they are. How we doing? Got another one working on that. Snag that down here. Oh, uh, let me show you the workings. Is I got a little door here. I mean, I'm not trying to hide it, but it doesn't need to be obvious because it's just part of the decor. But this will take me back down to where it is. So as you can see, I'm not actually burning the lava that these things are sitting in. This is just for looks. I have our good old friend Magma Crucible down here, and he's almost out of netherrack. Good God. Uh, so with filling up those others, this puppy is being drained like there's no tomorrow. Let me uh, actually tone down how much these guys are willing to suck up at any given time. Let me do, yeah, even a 10 right now. I mean, that's a drain of a 20 overall. I've got this guy sucking in as fast as he can for that guy. If I actually gave him some redstone, he would be. Uh, he's doing nothing right now, but he's where I'll be putting that and then some sand on the other side to get the rich slag, so that that's going to be pretty fun. Do, do, do. So he's still going up. He's still going up. These guys should be full. Nice. Let's make sure our uh, little guy down here, he's going up, right? Two, one. So he goes up only when he has nothing to do, otherwise he's going down way too fast. I'm actually going to turn that one. Uh, we'll do five and five. I mean, my little magma engines only can do what they can do. But uh, there's also room here for expansion. Is you know I could put another one here, I could put some holes in here and run some more uh, tubing and stuff like that. But these guys are happily down here, keeping themselves full. Uh, maximum output for mega jewels per tick or Minecraft jewels per tick. Um, I don't know if I flicked these on and off before, but I just want to show you real quick. Those control the engines on their respective side, and it's actually the. Uh, the furthest one in here, that's the main side. This will turn on two of the engines right there and there. The other one is the auxiliary, so when I'm doing like really heavy lifting like what I'm doing right now, where I'm just really plowing through everything, is I can turn on the other side as well. But actually, let's go get... Let's see if we can take something back with us. Yep. Let's go get some more netherrack here. Should have some... Oh yeah, look at that. 16 more. So uh, 19 pieces of silver ended up giving us 24 pieces of uh, lead ingots. Very, very nice. 
Uh, these go in the center. What do you know? Take that one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, more Electrum. 16 left. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2. Snag that. I wish it wouldn't uh, take them from up here when it's like that. I wish it would still take them from down below. Even though one of the pieces is the last one I have. Uh, netherrack. We don't want to forget the netherrack. And I stuck it in a odd place. Well, can only fit a stack in there right now. So I've been looking at how to feed the netherrack in there. I want more than a hopper. Uh, I want to be able to fill pretty much a diamond chest worth of netherrack. So it has a fairly good store. Do do do. Do do do. Mm-hmm. Actually gonna just turn these all the way off. Yep, so their pipes are only set up to actually give them uh, red power, this is, er, red power, Minecraft jewels, is this really isn't set up for anything more than a charging station and then to swap out these crystals, or these cells with others of their kind. Let's get some more going in there. Ew, it's only we're running at half power there. Yeah, it's still pretty fast overall, I mean, this isn't exactly moving slow here. Going to turn that off. Going to turn that off. Let's let the power just get to the machines, keep them running the way they should be. Yeah, he's climbing now, so the other one should technically be climbing. I think there will be a bit of a drain when we go to refill here. Get that in there as well. Alright, let's check our magma crucible down here. So the plan for this guy is to be able to supply him. He should be generating, and he's going downwards. So going to have to take this into consideration that if I actually... Well, see, the upstairs isn't really meant for working on it, so I'm not all that concerned. This is kind of like a, a temporary system right here. Anywho, um, so I'm thinking like a diamond chest... Or either a diamond chest and a manager from red power, in which case I'd have to have red power coming in here somehow to constantly keep this thing full of netherrack. I did some testing earlier and there's some issues. Uh, a couple of different ways I could set it up with the, um, with the manager, but it ended up working out that the ways that seemed most efficient and that would work the best weren't triggering this guy to let him know that he actually had netherrack that he could work on. So it ended up being that I would have to like yeah, tick it a little bit or take it back out and put it back in sort of deal, which yeah it just doesn't feel just doesn't feel right that sort of deal. And the one that ended up working was the one I had just described. All right, squishing on over, um, where it's the manager goes or chest into a manager into a, I believe, a tube, and then into there. So we can send full stacks over. Uh, they go over, they bounce back, it kind of keeps it in its own buffer, which kind of annoys me. I have to destroy the manager to get my materials back out. It won't put them in the chest. But it would keep it full, and it would keep it running. Uh, another simpler way, I guess there's a, what is it called, a filter, I want to say? Uh, filter. So I think this thing would be able to take it out of the chest and dump it into this thing whenever it has room down a pneumatic tube. Uh, that's where we want the bounce back to come back from so it can keep on doing its thing and have enough uh, lava, as I'll need to do a little bit of, uh, or not magma, lava, uh, netherrack. So it'll have enough of that to do its thing and uh, still to keep on to constantly generate. That way it's pretty much just turns it into a really big hopper. 
So this is the underneath. You can see the lava. I kind of showed you this earlier. The engines are right over on, around the edge of the corners here. I can't actually get them from down here because this is selecting the pipe instead of the um, engine. Everywhere else, the bounding box is pretty small around this thing. I think it's just because of the fixture uh, extending to the top there that the bounding box kind of extends up that way. Um, this side is the same sort of deal. I actually have uh, redstone conduits. You can see these are um, uh, micro blocks, but I have redstone or jacketed redstone going uh, down below these things. So I don't. Yeah, there you go. You can see the the bounding box. Although I don't know why it does the top one because there isn't a top one. Or well, actually, I guess that's where the um, the redstone wire connects up to here. So it's the redstone is the levers are powering this block this block, and then I have it going vertically down through those wires in order to provide the amount of uh, uh, and I, and I, in order to provide the uh, redstone power in a vertical downward fashion in that particular area. So let's snag our prizes. We're up to three. We got five more. Not too bad. We can just go over here and stick them in our little buffer. Mm -mm -mm. So I have enough to make, what, four of these? Five of these? I believe so. One, two, oh, these don't stack. Two. We'll leave the other one in there just so the recipe stays for now. Mm -mm -mm. So, anything else that's changed? Oh, yes. You may have seen them in my glancingness. Uh, first of all, I have a 75% um, efficiency wheat farm. Or not wheat farm, sugarcane farm. And this stuff actually grows really, really fast. Um, maybe not up to three, but I'm able to harvest this thing probably every, like, three minutes. And get about 30, 40 pieces off of it. Uh, I definitely don't need that much. But I got these guys. I brought some friends down. Is I, I portaled them down here with my portal gun. Hello, buddy. You like my book? Yeah, it's a very nice book. Let's go see how this guy's doing. Yeah, it's a nice book, isn't it? It's all glowy and stuff. So uh, I figured <laughs> I'm going to start doing some livestock and such. And that's what I have planned for. Ooh, beehive collection. That's kind of what I have planned for over here. I started lighting this up, and I've been doing a little bit of terraforming over here as well. So I was thinking of just having this valley be a rather large livestock pen. Uh, a lot of transitions. See, I just don't know because this area is so cool. I don't know, maybe I could do like some of my machinery over here so I could spend some time here and such. I like it, I like it, but I do need livestock. Uh, I would definitely want to get some of that transformation powder so I could have cows, deer, uh, sheep, ram. Uh, the penguins are a little bit useless. They don't seem to drop anything, like so they're useless resource-wise. But they look pretty neat. So, you know, some chickens and some penguins to go along with them. But I just, I, I, the place looks so neat, I'm kind of having a hard time thinking that it's where I'm going to be storing, <laughs> you know, cow shit, <laughs> for, for lack of a better terminology here. Uh, <laughs> induction smelter, I should actually get some of this stuff going so I can get a little bit more of that rich slag. Let me see, 600... It's going pretty quickly. It was actually charging up uh, because I wasn't using it a bit. 700. Yeah, we're not going to wait for that. Besides, we have a quick way back. Another one of these suckers. For another one of those. Uh, so what we need is a stack of sand and a stack of material that we're not going to grind. Um, I'm pretty good on gold. A uh, stack and a half of gold dust still. Uh, two and a uh, plus half stack of um, gold ingots. A stack of gold there. Actually, since I'm here. One, one, two, three. Wow. One, one, two, three. Ooh, this is very, very full. Um, I'm going to borrow you. Thank you. 
I just need more space for this particular type of uh, items here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. That is a lot of bluestone. Let me take those diamonds out of there. Oh, full stacks here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pick all this up into a backpack right now. And then I will stick all of this in my other chest. So just the uh, dropped holy items. Five out of 15. Did I really have that much? I'll be to get that and that out. I'm actually going to lock these now because I don't want to deal with them. Stick that in there. Mm -mm -mm. Diamonds can go back in. Emeralds can join their kin. And I do believe even more. <laughs> I got a lot of lapis out of that place. That is glowstone, right? Yeah, it was glowstone. Okay. So I got some copper. Should probably put that back in the other place. Add more to my reeds. Gonna put that in there as well. Pretty sure I left that empty. Some redstone to share. Coal right now is over here with a little bit of charcoal and all my coke. <laughs> so this is a little bit more organized. I'm sure I'll uh, eventually get a more official storage area. So some of the things I could use are going to be pulverized or macerated. As I, um, I'm running fairly low on electrum right now. And I do believe... Oh, look at all that platinum. And I do believe... The only way, oh no, that was right, the U key. The only way to get it, yeah, rich lag would give me an extra gold. Powered furnace, industrial. Yes, yeah, I have to, I believe I have to go to the, uh, the dust first. So you can smelt down the dust, spin out some lava. I believe it's just the different types of lava. Yep. Yeah, it's smelt or uh, spin lava in order to get the uh, the items required. So this is the lighter colored silver. I think it's iron. I think iron wins the uh, what goes into the induction furnace. So uh, I think you guys can get the general gist of what I'm trying to do here, is I want you to be able to walk in and see a nice glowing red wall of energy waiting for you, uh, but still have the system controllable, so I don't have to worry too much about wasting any of the energy and such. Let me guess, out of redstone, aren't you? 75, so I need another 40 pieces for one, another 40 pieces for another, minus three, so 37. So I need 77 more pieces of redstone to finish this off, which is not too bad. However, you do your thing right now, right now! And this will still get me the two to one on the iron, so I'm not all that worried about that. Let me go back, 77 pieces of redstone is what I needed. So there's 60, there's 70, 77. Should I bring anything else with me? Yeah, why not? Mm -mm -mm, one Z, two Z, and now we're out of Electrum. So I'm going to need to set up a pulverizer pretty soon here as well, apparently. 
But I think uh, I'm going to wrap this episode up. No need to do an overly long one. I'm fairly uh, tired tonight, but I did want to get at least an update as to what I've been doing. Uh, it's been a little, you know, on-camera, off-camera, on-camera, off-camera sort of thing for me tonight. Mm -mm -mm. Oops. And, oh yeah, by default, these are going to... What? I had three? By default, these are going to suck up all the juice. And I should really have put the redstone in first. Same with these guys, right? No wonder there's been a draw on the system. I forgot to turn these down. He can suck all he wants. He's already full. And there we go. Great. So I'm going to leave you guys here and catch up with you in the next episode when we do a little bit more uh, construction around the area. Uh, hopefully I will have a nice place picked out to do the rest of the machinery as I do think it's time to start building those things back up again. Um, might do something completely different. Uh, you know, Maybe pick a plateau over here and just run the stuff around. Uh, I am thinking over here will have its benefits because it's closer to the power source. I could hook up uh, fairly easily a um, fairly easily a th my thermal generator to that magma system there, and just constantly generate EU off of it. Get rid of my little temporary platform. It just it has so much energy in it. It's still supplying all my energy needs. I, I had uh, about 10 million stored up when I decided to move everything plus uh, a good amount of lava in the uh, thermal generator. So, anywho, we shall see. Um, hoping, hoping it's going to be a neat construction. I want to lay down what I'm going to do with my roads and such in. I'm just thinking the um, same thing I've been thinking since we started this set of mods, the uh, macerated cobblestone, or macerated cobblestone. Sigh. The crushed obsidian is. Yes, I just think that this is a uh, pretty neat walkway piece. Here's my problem, though. It'll sink my water, so I can't use it for bridges. <laughs> ah well, we'll see. I will uh, talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think in the comments and such. Always eager to hear what you guys uh, think. So far, everybody's really loving that intro video. <laughs> I'm also gotta say that uh, I've also gotta say that I'm definitely loving it as well. So uh, another thanks to uh, John Bun there, and I will see you guys all next time.